Hello and welcome to Toyland. Today we're going to read Edward from Thomas the Train's book. And these are all the books you can collect. And if you want, gonna, you can read along with me. And I'm not going to be uh, on Toyland for a bit because I have to go um, to... What should I go? Um, I need to go to the shops and... We need to go, we're going to go to the casino, I'm really excited to do that, but there's no cameras allowed, so, yeah, and, I, and we're going to go in, like, at least ten minutes, so I might not, uh, finish reading all this, so, you can read along with me if you want. To the trains! This is a story about Edward, Blue Engine, as an older engine, he likes to be noisy and rather slow. Big Engine calls him names, but everyone soon had a chance to prove there's more to him than an old iron. Ed was getting old, his parts was worn. The big engines called him old iron because his clunk he clanked as he worked. One day he was taking some empty cattle to the market. Come on, come on, come on Huff Edward as he clanked on the long line. Oh 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 screamed at the rattling trucks. Some cows were gazing in the field when Edward uh, clattered past. The noise and smoke were set them. They twitched in their tails and ran. The cows, uh, the cows charged across the field a bit and they broke a fence and crashed into a few trucks. A coupling rod and Half of the trucks were left behind. Edward felt the trucks jerkly suddenly, but he thought, being naughty as usual, the troublesome trunks. He cried, Why can't they come quietly? Edward. Edward had reached the next station before he realised what had happened. News of the uh, uh, Incident quickly reached the other engine. Silly old horn! Fancy allowing cows to break his train! <laughs> Laughed Gordon. They wouldn't dare to do that to me. I'll show them, he boasted. Edward pretended to not to mind, but Toby was crossed. Don't worry, Edward, he said. Gordon's very mean to you and calls your names. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Cows can be very um, troublesome. This made Edward feel a bit better. A few days later, Gordon rushed through uh, Edward's station to mind the cows <laughs> as he roared along the line. But his driver could see something on the line. The bridge ahead. Slow down, Gordon, he said, and shut off the steam. Ah! It's only one cow! Shoo! He hissed, moving slowly across the bridge. But the cow wouldn't shoo. She lose half her cow and feel lonely. Gordon stopped. Be off! He hissed. But the cow kept walking towards him and mooed even louder. Gordon was scared and backed away slowly. His driver and fireman tried to send the cow away, but he couldn't move. The guy told me uh, Porter at the next station, it must be Bluebell, said the Porter. Her calf is here. We need to bring her now! Moo! bellowed Bluebell. When he saw the cow losing, she was happy. Gordon was very quiet at his way back to the station. He hoped no one heard about Bluebell. But the story suited. it. Wow, 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 chuckled. Edward, a big engine like you, afraid of a little cow? I wasn't afraid, huffed Gordon. I don't want the poor thing to hurt herself running to me. Yes, Gordon, he said solemnly. You know the real reason why he stopped. A few days later, Edward was late to the train. The old engine again, grumbled James. Edward always keeps us waiting. Thomas and Percy were annoyed. Old iron, he snorted. They snorted, sorry. 
Why Edward could beat you in a race any day? Really? Huff James. I sh like to see him do it. Edward heard James. As he pulled it in, he smiled. I might have to end the video soon, guys. Just want to let you know. My parents are literally calling me. <laughs> Later that week, James felt unwell. His father was really from the reef. He heard about the signal shout. James was pottering away without a driver. His firemen ran after him, but James was going too fast. The signalman had to help the others trains to make sure there wasn't an, an incident. Two boys were standing on across James' footplate and signaled a man. When James' fireman returned, Edwin is bringing the inspector. He needs a pole and a call of rope. James' fireman was waiting for when he arrived. Good man, said the inspector. Jump in. Don't worry, we'll catch him, puffed Edward. By now, James was very frightened. He know he didn't have a driver. I can't stop! Help! Help! We're coming! Cried Edward. As he puffed, he said with James, a buffer beat. The inspector carefully climbed out of e uh, Edward's cab and stunted his front. He had made a nose out of the rope. I think I need to go now, guys. We'll finish off tomorrow on Ned's other books we'll read in the near future. And <clears throat> thank you for coming to Thailand, Princess Anna. Bye! Okay, I'm coming!